Lewis Carroll, in his 1895 story, What the Tortoise Said to Achilles, presents another paradox regarding if A then B, or A implies B. In this case, Achilles knows that both A and A implies B are true, and he wants to deduce that B must be true. He believes he doesn't need anything more to do so, but the tortoise points out that he does need another, um, he does need to know something else to be able to make that deduction. He needs to know that A and A implies B together imply B. Now the tortoise isn't suggesting that this isn't true, he's just pointing out it's one more thing that Achilles needs to assume. And he's quite happy to let Achilles have that. So Achilles now knows that A and A implies B together imply B, and he knows A is true and he knows A implies B. So he now wants to deduce that B is true, but the tortoise says he needs another step. He needs to know that all these statements together allow him to deduce B. And so on forever. Carl's dialogue ends with the suggestion that Achilles should be renamed Tortoise and that the tortoise should be Achilles, which shows that our emeritus Geshem professor, Robin Wilson, um, isn't the only mathematician who makes dreadful puns. <laughs>